It's always the last one you look in. How's it going, everybody, and welcome back. I'm Dusty Mac, and thank you for joining me again on this OA Reaction Series. Today, we are continuing off with our favorite angelic orator, although now she's not really telling a story. She's actually just kind of living an adventure. <laughs> you know, as you remember, last week was kind of a sh Can I swear? Hold on. Anyway, guys, hope you had a good week. It's been uh, it's been real. I uh, hope you've been enjoying Zelda. It's priority gone. Never mind. And um, yeah, so last week was kind of a shit show. You know, I hadn't recorded in a while, and uh, just everything went wrong. I can't really mess with the camera, and I had to restart a few times, and it was just like ah. But you know, same day, so not much is probably gonna change. So last time we had the OA and Kareem going through this house, and uh, the OA got some news from. The Earth, Gaia, a god, the the woman maybe that was like her way of communicating through Earth to talk to the OA. Um, maybe that's a way to talk to her without having to die. Maybe Kareem was just going through hell, and he ended up getting his girlfriend back. Or I'm not sure what relation was it. His sister, something like that. But yeah, he got Zendaya back, so she's back in the show. She was an old woman, but he brought her out of the puzzle, and she was okay again. Is that I'm not exactly sure what we watched if that was like her being reborn or something. I'm not exactly sure. This this show likes to be shrouded in mystery and makes you question. It's probably just gonna be like, oh yeah, you know, that was just like her stuck in limbo or something and now she's free. But yeah, I'm excited to see what happens and uh I, I couldn't I couldn't even begin to guess what that is. So anyway, guys, if you like this reaction and want to keep seeing more just like it, please make sure you hit that like button for the algorithm and subscribe and hit that little bell in the corner because it'll tell you when my next video comes out which is usually every monday wednesday and friday and i also do some bonus videos and don't stream hardly ever and if you guys want to support the channel financially the patreon and everything else is down below and with the patreon you're going to get these reactions full length in a week or weeks before the youtube audience for example if you guys want to go see the series 2 finale actually no just the series finale of the oa right now that's already available up there and uh, there's also like patron exclusive movies series and polls so if that interests you please go check that out if not it'll be up here in a few weeks uh, and yeah if you guys really want to help me out please share these reactions to like all your fan groups and stuff like that the more people that watch the more i can do reactions just like this i guess without any further ado let's go ahead and jump into this week's episode of the oa again this one is season two episode six mirror mirror what was that <laughs> let's do it back in the past not the past but the other dimension there's not gonna be a whole lot of signal out there where the buffalo roam why are we even standing here when we could be doing the movements and sending her to another dimension already bba's uncle's on his deathbed steve she has to say goodbye. <laughs> Family's important. Hey! Yo! Stop! Please stop, and please don't be a crazy murderer. You guys need a ride? Yes. Thankfully, they weren't just out in the middle of nowhere doing these movements. <laughs> she comes by, she's like, nope, I'm not stopping. How exactly are we supposed to send an old lady to another dimension if she doesn't want to jump? Push her into the invisible river? I'm sorry, you're not the chosen one. What difference does it make if I just jump at the last second? So, uh, I've been thinking, what if Homer was in a hospital? And that might be where Rachel is or was too. What hospitals have suspended bridges in the background and found one hospital in the Bay Area? We could go. It might make BBA more certain. Nothing is certain. Some dude can put you underground for seven years. Even if it were a real space here, she's in another dimension. Uh, could you give us a second, please? Well, what's going on? Your phone? Oh. Hey, I got an email. Amber Alert on TV? <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Teacher abducted 20 students. Please tell me you called your parents. Call them now, right now. <laughs> now. They'll probably just arrest you. Guess who's gonna need to jump? Let's just go out there and send her to the other side. He's gonna jump as soon as the invisible Shut up, Angie. I feel like I can't breathe. BBA's having a panic attack. <laughs> I mean, I would too if you're being accused of kidnapping a bunch of kids. Early dimensions mean you die in the dimension you're already in. We have to get out of here. He's like, maybe I'm not gonna jump. <laughs> <laughs> I found a bus in Reno that goes to my cousins. You trust her? Dealing with a little bit of PTSD. It's only a car, man. How? You know, I can't imagine like kids who survived a school shooting like having to go back to the same school. <laughs> my European subscribers are like, I don't know what you're talking about. That doesn't sound like something familiar in my part of the world. It's not. It's not normal. It's just. It's just American. Like apple pie, guns, and school shootings. Good, you gotta talk to him, man. You all right? I'm just tired. That's a good bro right there. 
Very surprising of Steve, but I think he's really protective of his friends in the end, you know? He may seem like a dick, but I think he's just very guarded. Guarded and protective. Have any of you ever seen the ocean before? Dug some tents out of the garage. I thought guys might like to camp out on the beach. I'd rather stay in the air conditioning, if you don't mind. I would never want to live. It'd be a beautiful view every day, but you know. Shit. Beautiful views every day is not worth the one day where the view is literally on your, well, through your house. I've never stepped foot in the ocean, but I saw the ocean when I was flying, like, to Orlando before. I don't even know if I would go in the ocean, to be completely honest. I don't know. Ocean terrifies me. <laughs> she got by a side, at least, you know? It's Betty. It's been too long, hasn't it? Thank you for letting Theo and I come and pester you every summer. You were our saving grace. Are you? It is important to be by someone's side when they're dying, I think, but it's just... I used to it's... call your dad Uncle Beach Ball. <laughs> it's so difficult. Jesse, come on! How cold is it? Oh, good try. No. I like them all just like, they're able to let loose for once, you know? Everyone's got so much on their mind all the time. They seem like good kids. It's a good cult. I mean, uh, yeah, they're good kids. Why are kids. they here? <laughs> That's a good question. The sheriff called yesterday. Uh-oh. They're looking for you. And what you went through, honey. An active shooter at your school. One just happened in Michigan not too long ago. I'll be out of your hair by morning. See, you're scaring me. Before I met OA, I thought life was too much for me. But I was wrong. The blind girl who was killed. She wasn't killed. Not really. I'll sleep on it. Man, that is a crazy view. That's gotta be like a $50 million piece of property. I mean, right on the beach like that? Damn. When my dad was still around, he'd go visit his family in Canada, but just across the bridge. Who is this um, kid? <laughs> fall asleep in front of the fire, listening to their talk. I could feel my dad lift me into the air. The quilt would come out of nowhere, warm and heavy. That's what it'll be like. Let's let Uncle Carl sleep, Jesse. Like, that was incredibly private and intimate moment right there. How dare you? Ugh, what'd you steal? Are you okay? You're so quiet here. Uncle Carl's one of the few who still lives here year round. You paid that much for that property. Why would you ever leave? It was kind of you to spend some time with him. Thank you. Yeah, I should get some sleep. We have to get up early. I want my last view of this dimension to be a good one. Also, we have to do it before Amy wakes up. She thinks I kidnapped you guys. <laughs> <laughs> kind of the other way around, isn't it? It's time synchronous between both dimensions. It's so like what OA and Kareem are doing is happening now, or is like time fluctuated at all? I don't know. What if she jumps and then the other one is going to jump into her body, maybe? I got some money, or is it pills? Looks almost like Canadian money. I need your help. Theo? Please help me! <laughs> is he ODing or something? Where's Jesse? Where's Jesse's tent? On the end. It's always the last one you look in. <laughs> ah, Jesse! What the fuck is this? Is he okay? So is he dead? Is... It's Uncle Carl's pain meds! Oh, there are patches. That's what that was. Pentanol patches! <laughs> Fentanyl, holy fuck. Did he have Why two of them on him? Come on! Y'all gotta dance. Dude, uh, come on, man. Come on, he's not dead! Three not of dead. them, holy shit. Like, one's like almost over his heart. We can still save him. Let's go, Buck. Let's go. Everyone get up. Just takes two to revive somebody, right? Shit, shit, shit. She's gonna wake up and ruin everything. She's gonna see it. She's gonna see them, like, doing some weird cult shit. They had to do it for a while though, didn't they? And they were full on angels. Keep doing it, keep doing it, come on. BBA, she's the medium. Betty! Oh my god. It's Amy oh, Ellie, this is Sheriff. Amy, wait, no. I know it looks like a bitch. Please, wait! Maybe if they join in, it'll go faster. Why are you stopping? Why aren't you guys helping? It's not working. Homer and Away did them all night for Scott. This is Jesse! Take the fentanyl patches off of him. Hello, don't touch him. We can't move without you. What if the cops get here? Everything's over. Let's go, we gotta go. BBA, please. It's my fault. Come on. Fault. It's my fault. It's not. <sighs> Fuck. I thought maybe there it was gonna work. I don't know why they all didn't jump in on it, because I think the movement becomes more powerful the more people that are doing it, right? Plus, they weren't in sync. Like, they were at least a half second off, it felt like, and they just don't have the, the same will, I guess, to do it. Oh shit. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna obviously be looking for that fucking car. Go, go, go! Steve! Where are you? Uh, Steve! 
Jeep! Where are you going? Why? Why are you going that way? I just let him go. I mean, if dying is what he was describing earlier to BBA's uncle, looks like he actually achieved that because he looked peaceful. <laughs> just one, though? See, these feel like they're being done with conviction. <laughs> That's gonna work with just one person, but he, I, I, the determination he has is, you know, you can feel it. It almost felt like a martial art the way that he was snapping and stuff, you know? What are you doing, French? <laughs> they're, they're gone. <laughs> no one saw him over there on the hill just dancing. Hey, isn't that the kid we're looking for? Is <gasps> that acceptance? <laughs> Close the door. Maybe we should go back and get him. Cops are on the lookout for him in his car. He needed help. We all knew it, and we just ignored him because he was easy to ignore. I'm going to Treasure Island. No, we can't just keep going on, not after. I haven't been in my right mind, not about any of this. I'm calling the police to turn myself in. French, uh... French probably already did that. You called? Damn it, French. What What did you do? Is that like relative of his maybe? Try to help him out, help her out? Gotta do it. Change your appearance. It's not so bad to shave it. <laughs> Make sure you clean up though, because they're going to know that you shaved your head. That's how we got here. Okay. And you're expecting me to help you with this. <laughs> you remember where we met? Oh, his house? What is a house? I don't know, space. Good. What is a space? A house, a school, a clinic. Part of you has always known, hasn't it? Was what? That she's gonna die? Saw something in the TV. We were in that room, but others were too. Right now, I can feel the truth of it. We're not alone in this room. How does he know about any of this, the FBI agent? Now you've got what you need. I thought I was losing my mind. You're not. Ooh. You're just finding new rooms inside it. We are meant to go to Treasure Island. Why are you helping us? I've been sent to help her. She's gonna need it. So who is this FBI agent guy and why is he helping the need to help the OA? That kind of feels ominous, I'm not gonna lie. All right, everybody, that was the OA season two, episode six, Mirror Mirror. And uh, this one, I don't know. I, it, like, I feel like I'm, I'm following more th this storyline than I am the OAs just because the OAs is just kind of out there and these guys like it kind of feels like they're living a lie like for all they really know the OA just got shot and that was it you know like that's it was all coincidental and there's nothing after this so that she just lied to him but I think they they really believe and you know especially Steve how he jumped out of the car to you know keep doing the the movements but yeah in this episode Jesse you know, he's just been kind of getting ignored and kind of not pushed around, but just kind of like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, let's go over and do this. Like, even when he had the plan, like, I think I worked this all out. We need to go here. He was right. But they still ignored him. And they're like, we can't do that. <clears throat> and the only way he, he found out was taking those fentanyl patches. Like, he probably would have been okay with one, you know. But he straight up put three of them on him and... Fentanyl is, especially medical grade fentanyl, that shit's going to be very, very potent. And, uh, yeah, he straight up, he died. <laughs> I, I, it's weird that, like, you know, I, I guess you could call it suicide, but it's basically an overdose. Like, that just, it felt like it came out of nowhere. But isn't that what real life is like, you know? I mean, people that you, you never thought would do something like that is just... And then all of a sudden they're dead and you're just like, why didn't I, I should have seen signs better. I shouldn't have treated that person, you know, like this, but in those moments, you can't, you can't blame yourself because you're never going to get out of that, that pit because you can't, you can't, they can't forgive you anymore. So you got to get to a place where you can forgive yourself. And I, as you saw, like Buck was really taking it hard. And then French called, was that, wasn't he hooking up with the dude? Was that the guy? 
or was that like a family member? You have to let me know because I, honestly, I can't remember right now. Uh, I, I, if I would have continued watching this, I probably would have been like, oh, okay. But I just, I didn't think that he was an FBI agent. Yeah, so somehow he, maybe that girl from where the OA is now, that dimension hopped into him. Or maybe he's just like a a messenger or something. I'm not even sure. It's just, um, I, I'm sure we're going to find out very soon. But I just don't know how this is actually going to end because I, I do know that, I don't think it completes. I think it's kind of like left open ended, which I'm not going to be happy with when I finally get there. But, um, you know, it, it is what it is, I suppose. So uh, I'm just wondering how this season is going to end. So, anyway, guys, if you like this reaction and want to keep seeing more just like it, please make sure you hit that like button for the algorithm and subscribe and hit that little bell in the corner because it'll tell you when my next video comes out, which is usually every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I also do some bonus videos and barely stream. And if you guys want to support the channel financially, the Patreon and everything else is down below. And with the Patreon, are going to get these reactions full length in a week or weeks before the YouTube audience. For example, the Always Season 2 finale, the series finale, is already available for my patrons, as well as full length uh, movies, series, and, pay and polls, um, something like that. Uh, so if that interests you, please go check that out. If not, it'll be here in a few weeks. And uh, if you guys really want to help me out, please share this and all the fan pages and stuff. The more people that watch, the more reactions I can do. Let's do that again. The more people that watch, the more reactions I can do. So anyway, guys, thank you so very much for joining. You know I love and appreciate every single one of you. And remember, if you're going to go outside, wear a mask, don't be an ass. And I will see you all next week for some more The O. Oh, actually, it's going to be the penultimate episode of The OA. So that's going to be exciting, and there's got to be a lot of stuff happening in the next two episodes. So anyway, guys, thank you so much, and I will see you next week. Take it easy, guys. She thinks I kidnapped you guys.